Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important? I'm not going to say them now, but I'm definitely saying those three magical words. Dude, I love my fucking dick puncher. Like, I love it. Before you fucking throw a bar on your back and then your fucking spine just goes out your asshole. As a foursome of friendship, we've we've kind of kissed each other here and there, but that was the biggest, most sensual kiss. Buckle up. Ow! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. Tickle. Oh, baby. Oh, Duras, I, I gotta say your look today is hot, 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 hot. Let me get back into character. Okay, what's up, you fuck faces? Yeah. Yeah. Let's hey, go. you cock smoke. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you, Adam. Durs, how are you that tan? The sun does not come out that often. What where are you going? He looks like he's got a, a goggle tan. The sun will come out for swimming. Bet your bottom dollar I've been swimming. That's a great voice. Uh, Where was that? So you sc- oh, that's sick, oh, dude. Oh, shit. That is sick. Uh, for that's everybody sick. not watching on half, YouTube, Durs yep. has a merry half Christmas tank top on. Yeah, and it looks real good on him. It's about that time. That's rare. And is it tighter than what? Did you buy it that size? Like, or not buy it? Were we, you given it? that size during uh workaholics and you grew into it or Ew! did it shrink to your now more svelte f- physique this is what it's always been it's uh, nothing's changed is it like a sweater material because it looks or is it like cotton to look sweater material no it's no this is a cotton shirt yeah you thought they'd make something cool no it's like a tank top i thought it no. was like kind of like woven or something i was like did we did we do that what is happening it's like a tank top it's exactly it's exactly a tank top. Yeah. It's just a tank top. It's a tank. It's yeah, cool. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah. I love it. Well, it's hard. I can't touch it. I can't touch it. You know what I mean? Can't touch this. That's kind of hot right now like mesh tanks like or like a crochet tank top. Exactly. It's not mesh at all. Mesh and crochet are way two different things. Mesh is like a football jersey. Crochet is something that uh, my grandmother Arvella taught me and I'm actually pretty good at it. Both are very hot right now. Yeah. Yeah, true. These are not called Jamaican wife beaters anymore. Uh, I don't know if that is what they're called anymore, but that's yeah. probably what they were once known as for sure. It's like a woven top. Let's go. That was the parlance where I grew up. It said if you were wearing that, every, it was referenced as a Jamaican wife beater. Yeah, you can't call them wife beater. Now it's now it's a domestic violence tank. Yeah. Now it's a domestic violence because, you know, the violence can come any which way. It doesn't need to be a wife. A wife can yeah. beat on husbands now. That is true. In fact, I, I'm, I've been watching a lot of pretty insane videos online. <laughs> wow. You side with Johnny Depp, I bet. Oh, wait. I don't I don't even know anything about we that story, but yeah, way. probably. Hey, Adam, perfect answer. Hey, yeah. me neither. Me neither. Yeah. 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 There was. Some, I love yeah. it. Probably, dude. Dude, you didn't hear. Dude. It was the prank war. That was the epic. <laughs> this is breaking news. This is breaking news. <laughs> That's the Perfect. epic prank war. She shit in his bed. <laughs> Topical. Doesn't that seem like it was 800 years ago? You never heard about that? Yes. Well, it was kind of a long ago, wasn't it? I have no clue. I have no, no concept of time anymore. Shit speeds up, slows down. So, Blake, you're... By the way, if I had a dollar every time I shit in my wife's bed... <laughs> What? You're our hip, a resident hip, cool dude. Uh, are you wearing any crocheted items or any? Uh... Yeah! I wanted to. Yeah, I, I was wondering <laughs> yeah. the same thing, Adam. That's right on the money, baby. He's got them. Yeah, because I could see you. I could see you dabbling in that world of like a crocheted little tank, little belly tee. Well. F. Do you got one of those soft hangers where like you hang like very <laughs> delicate things on? Bro, it? you don't oh, know yeah. nothing about my lifestyle, dog. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, Blake folds that. Oh, like a nighty, like a nightgown hanger. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a little like mesh number going on on the Tribeca red mm. carpet. I did mm. have that, but mm. I, I wore. Oh, but that was a shirt. That's like a button down, like Charlie Sheen. Your favorite actor? I was wondering about that. What, what that was like? Yeah. So what? What yes. was that? What was that look? 
<laughs> well, it was none other than the brand Supreme. Come on, get at me. Mm-hmm, Hype mm-hmm. beast over here. <laughs> I'm at you. I'm yeah, at you. Dude. But I didn't have the guts to rock it. No uh, undershirt. I didn't really want to show nipples on the on the carpet. Oh, dude. No, that's the thing. Where you're you a fashion forward guy. You're the one that can show nipples. I, and then we have right. a whole conversation piece. Then we have 30 <laughs> minutes on the pod. Yeah, we got nothing to talk about now. But then everybody would know that he now now we're fucking just <laughs> drowning right now. Everybody yeah. would know wow, that Blake has dude. zero tattoos yeah. and that's a problem. OK, I'm I'm fine. I, it's cool that I don't have tattoos. I'm yeah. hyped on that. I yeah, resisted the urge. Is it then? Then don't wear an undershirt. Then don't wear an undershirt. Dude, he's Mark Ho- he's Mark Hoppus in our and and I'm Tom DeLong and you guys are both Travis. Okay. Oh. Okay. You, wait. Dude, me and Durs are a, Let's see that lip piercing. Yeah, pretty tight. Durs are we're dual Travis. Is um Mark Hoppus on re- on record not having tattoos? Uh, I, I don't know if he's on record, but I, at least back <laughs> in the day, uh, I'd like to find out. Everyone had a lot of tattoos and he had, yeah. give me five minutes with him. I'll find out. And not, not any visible that I, I remember, but I, I'm go I'm going to the show this weekend, which Let's now go. I guess we're sh- sh- recording this like two weeks earlier. So, uh, by the time this would have already been, uh, I would have already gone, but you would already have died in the pit. I'm going this weekend. And uh, I will check Marcus Mark Hoppus's entire body for okay. <laughs> Marcus Hoppus. Marcus Hoppus. <laughs> Definitely have him. I'll check his entire body for tattoos. Yeah. Let's go. It's my favorite band. My favorite member is Marcus Hopp. Marcus Hopp. Marcus Hops. So Blake, you wore undershirts under your crocheted outfit. That's <laughs> I'm like, yeah. What the hell, dude? Yeah. And, and with your body, let it flaunt it, baby. He circles back. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I didn't want to be that guy. I, I, I don't. No. See, Blake, you are that guy. You're already that guy. But 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 that's the standard operating procedure right now. I'm not that guy. I'm not really like nipple guy. Like let it all hang out, guy. But that's funny if you are, and your hair is already. You're already getting laughs. <laughs> Look, like, dude, just lean in. I, I will. I will say though. I will say. We're in this era of people wearing like design, like having a designer dress them in some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. 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 And I'll and and and, 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 it, and it and it elevates you <laughs> or whatever, right? Mm. 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 Yes, dude. I. I'll, but I, mm. I, I I side with Blake. But He's not you. trying to elevate. Thank you. <laughs> no, but if Blake, but dude, if Blake does it, it's funny. It's funny if Blake does it. It's not. It, it's never funny. It, it's it doesn't work. I'm trying to remember who I saw in some fucking crazy outfit and they're supporting their homie who made it or whatever, some big designer. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but it it's just, it's whack. But if Blake, if Blake did it, it would be Don't funny. Gay. Like if. And it's not crazy. No. We're just asking him to. I don't think. Wait, why was it funny, Adam? But it would feel enough that they would allow you to wear it. But you don't want it to be. You don't want it to be funny. Yeah, you do. You want everything to be funny. No, no. He wants to look good. He doesn't want to look like he's a tryhard. Okay. You're not trying to walk a carpet. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> you guys tell me what right. I want, and then I'll let you know the truth behind oh, it. We know what's going on. You don't want to. You don't. He doesn't. Oh, he doesn't want to seem like Blake doesn't want to seem like he's trying hard. So he is going to wear the mesh shirt, but he is going to wear something underneath, which in in turn makes it seem like he's trying a little too hard to not show his nipples. Like, why wear the mesh? I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of there. But I'm kind of there, Adam. <laughs> Why wear the mesh if you're not showing the nips? It wasn't super mesh. It wasn't like giant. Like, was the under color of the shirt like complimentary? What was the whole color scheme like? Was was that a part of it or just an obvious cover up of your nipples? What's going on? It was like a very very colorful shirt, like very rainbow, like bright colors. I wore white underneath just to kind of like neutralize it a little bit. Oh, so white is neutral for you. Hmm. I saw I saw you getting in the cold plunge last week. Your torso. You're pretty white right now. You're the you're maybe the whitest yes. I've seen. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so maybe that's another reason I didn't want to expose right. myself. I am very self-conscious right now because I my body has not seen sun. Mm, my body. 
And it's at this point that w when you're a white bro and you don't have any sun on your body, you can start to see like your veins through his skin. I look like E.T. when he's dying by the river. I don't like it. Like, I liked it. It's, it's, it's. Th that's kind of sexy, though. I like it. It's natural. It's natural. No, nah, I. Yeah, but there are, there's weird shadows and stuff that happen. It's. <laughs> I like seeing some of those blue veins on your chest. No, I don't like the blue vein. I wanna. I like a nice little base coat. I like to be. I want to see your heart kind of a little bit. Well, Blake. Blake used to do a lot of tanning when we back in the day. He was he was the one out there oiled up, sitting by the pool. Yeah. He's a lizard. He's a lizard on the rocks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Reading his dessert. comic books. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which I'm surprised you don't look old now. Like we're all getting like <laughs> to where we are actually like mid age now, and yeah, Durs is already there. He's already been living in mid middle age, and and we all look fairly young for. He looks great. He looks great. It's, hey, me and me and Adam are gonna go tea shopping for uh for being What's, as old as we are. But but you got so much sun there for a while, Blake. We, Remember when you tried to have like a, a tan off? Who were you doing a tan off with? Well, with all of you guys. Wasn't it with you? Yeah. And it's we still yeah, the day. Well, that's what it was. It was back in the day, it was in search of you'd have to spend your summer searching for the perfect tan. And that's like what you're looking for, perfect. you know? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Searching for the perfect tan? Yeah. It's still um, on, by the way. It never ends. It goes the rest of our lives. Yeah, but then I don't want to look like a you're always searching. <laughs> it ends when the doctor is like, "Hey, so I removed the face, your face, and uh, you got to get out of the sun." Yeah, it it ends, dude. It does end. Yeah, they're like, "We have to cut your nose off today." So okay, you see this skin tag and this skin tag. That is not good. <laughs> That's connected <laughs> yeah. uh, to your whole nipple and chest area. So we're gonna have to carve that out. Well, Durs yeah. is winning That's right now. That's for go. damn sure. Yeah, Durs is tan. Speedo tan. It's kind of nice. Mm, and like yeah, a wait. goggle tan? Kind of. mm. Wait, speedo tan? I thought that was like a snow bunny tan. I thought you were up on the slopes. I thought that. Yeah. I was. I was just up in Mammoth, actually, like oh three God. days ago oh for a God. little June ski. Yeah. You live a life of luxury. I see. Wow. What oh an athlete. Just You're an athlete. 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 Athleisure, you know? But you know what? Back to Adam and us getting old. It was it, sure. this year's okay. the first year where going downhill, going like, down, <laughs> my fuck yeah, we're going downhill. My fucking thighs are on fire, and it's like <laughs> ooh, <laughs> thigh pain. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm still working out, but I just well because you're just like g -g 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 and dude, fire. I got to yeah. get on the t. Did did, did they ever? Did they ever? There's not even a small part of me that thinks I could do that. Did they ever collapse? Did they ever buckle? Did yeah. they ever? Did they ever buckle while you were out there? Oh no, because like, the instincts kick in, the survival. Yeah, you yeah. got to make it all the way down. But well, there was a couple times a... where I was like, I gotta stop and like wait for the kids. And I know, like, you yeah, know, we don't think swimming is guy. a real sport, but Durs is a collegiate athlete. You know, it's true. so yes, it, yes, it, yes, it snaps back into place. Yeah. yeah, you hope so. See, all I, I just, I, uh, I, my collegiate sport was hacky sacking and mm. uh bong rips right. lung capacity that would be so cool if hacky sacking was in the olympics if they brought hacky sack to the olympics what country would win <laughs> it will be i mean that the pace we're going no what country would win brazil yes great answer <laughs> i got <laughs> it would be whoever's the brazil. greatest at soccer brazil. yes for sure yes. Yes. whoever's brazil. fantastic at soccer i think i yeah, gotta brazil, drop points dude. on that jesus mm -hmm. christ if i could mm, find them. i don't know god damn it <laughs> give them a point mm. yes dude points! this uh this brazil who oh adam <laughs> adam you got the uh, stars and stripes in your corner or what <laughs> yeah you think it's usa you think usa beat I feel like Costa Rica's getting silver, my man. Those people are chilling. <laughs> Damn. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, point. I think I think it'll be like anything. I feel like hacky sacking uh, really took hold here in the nineties. Okay. So I think we'll come out hot, and there will be some like old guys who still have all their funk. Well, can I? Uh, by the way, I'm the old guy. Um, right. That'll still have I... that nasty funk, but then yeah, another funk. country will 
take over and be like, well, we'd basically do this with a harder ball to catch and kick called a soccer mm -hmm. ball. Can I ask a super important question that you guys for sure don't know the answer to? Where, yeah, did, hacky, where did Hacky Stack Sack begin? Dude, Who started it? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess Colorado. Colorado. Colorado is probably where it turned into yeah. a business, but I bet that's not where it invented, where mm -hmm. it was invented. Because I believe the first hacky sack Loose butthole. <laughs> was, was started by Whammo. Whammo. Really? What is Whammo? This is Whammo. Good. They make frisbees. Frisbees and uh, here we go. We're getting into it. This is good. Here we got it. We got a link. We got a link. The hacky sack. Oh, it's the called the foot bag. Here we go. Here we go. Well, is there we? Here we go. Tune in. Hey, I know the listeners are going nuts. Here we go. Please, dear God. Oh, currently owned brand of footbag popular in the 1970s, currently owned by Whammo. Whammo! That shit's important. Dude, I... S How'd you Good do job. that, Durs? You Good Give job. me Weird. my mofo ing <laughs> points. <laughs> points, points, points. No flowers, but I, I will give points, of course. Dude, how insane is it that yes, I knew that points. was Whammo? Well, wait, It's it was a Southeast Asian game. Uh, okay. Kicking the shuttlecock known as... Oh, so we're pronouncing that wrong. We're pronouncing that wrong. That's Whammo. Janzi. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm that? butchering it, but it's a Wu, uh, the Wu style Tai Chi Chuan. Mm. Oh, look <laughs> at this. Bakes, uh, dates back to the, at least the 1930s. So people wow. be, so, mm -hmm. you know, the Asian countries would kick our ass for sure. Look at this. The game is known as, the game is known as Jeng, Chagi in mm -hmm. Korea. That's yep. pretty sick. Yeah, Adam, I feel like Adam just covered that. Absolutely. I just sort of said that, but yeah. You yeah. did? Well, are yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking disaster, my guy. You guys don't know that I can't read and listen at the same time? You're fucking out of your mind. I feel like that's, I feel like that's what happened. <laughs> just no one's asking you to read. Just listen. Well, I needed to read for myself. I was lost in the sauce. I'm just looking at these pictures. It looks like... The answer's Whammo. Like, yeah, Whammo, you did it, bro. You did it. It's the 70s and it's Whammo, but there's Should no I place. Go? Wow, that's huge. There's no place. It, and it is a it is a crocheted foot bag, so there you yeah. go. Yeah. Well, that's... <laughs> well, what's Whammo? What else? That's different. That's a different one. Whammo... So my cousins lived in Colorado. What do you mean it's a different one? Growing up, and I remember him showing up with a hacky sack in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Well, cro crocheted is like the knit one with like yeah. whatever on the inside. And mm -hmm. then the Beans. Whammo version that I remember from growing up was like... Leather? A like leather bag, yeah. The typical, the typical freestyle foot bag. Yeah, that shit was fire. Well, the, with the thirty-two, the thirty-two panel bag. Mm. The one that looks like a soccer ball, or f or fewer. That looks like a little soccer ball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the first one I ever saw. Only had like two or three panels. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of fire. Oh, a real piece of shit. <laughs> Oh, efficient. I like that. I like a real piece of shit. And that was made with like yeah. real animal carcass or was it like real leather? Absolutely. Carcass. That's pretty freaking yeah. cool. Yeah, dude. Real leather, Blake. Oh, damn. Whammo made slip and slide? Whoa. Yes. Whammo, Whammo's, they're, they're dude, doing it all. Whammo made silly string. Get the so, fuck out of here. I know we've, we've covered uh, Super Soakers before on the podcast, mm -hmm. but I just got, I, I haven't received it yet, but I paid like three hundred dollars for this fucking uh, squirt gun. What? That uh, th that they're sending from China. Hopefully, hopefully I wasn't just robbed. Okay. <laughs> but it's like a squirt gun <laughs> assault rifle. It's fucking insane. Is it? Is it the one that goes like? Yeah, is it the one yeah. I've been seeing on Instagram where you you dip it in the water? Bro. Yes, it's the one you've been seeing on Instagram and you dip it in the water and it do -do 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 and it sucks it itself. And it's it goes Yeah. Dude, are you going to let it suck 
I, I yeah. mean, are you going to put it in the pool and it, that's what it's going to be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, okay. Suck. Yeah. You, tell, tell me, okay, this is a $300 squirt gun from... It basically sucks up a bunch of water and then it instead of shooting a steady stream like a super soaker, uh -huh. it shoots a chunk of water, like, like whatever, like a cup of concentrated water, like a bullet. Like a bullet. It shoots bullets. Mm-hmm. And it's so like, like a, a burst, a burst. Not even like a stream, like a, a a burst. No, it's like it's like this much. A whoop whap. Of like a it's like a it's like a my dick length of water. Like this thick, uh, the size of a quarter thick or like a silver dollar, <laughs> and that and then that that long. Oh my god. It's like a little bit smaller. It's like bigger, it's a little bit bigger than my dick's worth of water. Yeah, it's like exactly my cock coming at you in water form. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's about my cock, about <laughs> six okay. six inches and some change, uh, and about like. my cock like this big. <laughs> but made out yeah. of water and floating right. through the air. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you got one of those? And it hits you with some speed, brother. <laughs> I haven't received it, so maybe I got robbed. But you never yeah. know when you just buy shit. Where did you order it? Have you through Amazon or what? It was like I saw it on Instagram, and I immediately you gave them my credit it. card. Instagram, you fell for it. Never fall for the Instagrams, dude. Yeah, but dude, I buy all kinds of shit off Instagram, and now I have a closet of bullshit. Really? <laughs> you lose. But I like it. It's never as good as it looks. It yeah. never as good as it looks. What's the best one? What's the best one you've you well, bought off Instagram? Best thing. It's all everything that I buy. Like I have the shoes that you guys that I wore during the live podcast that everyone was like, "What are those?" <laughs> They're just on Instagram, bitch. dude. There were just Instagram. <laughs> what what were they? What are the shoes you have? What are the shoes you have? What are they? They were called Arigatos. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah, you were you kept you kept talking about them and everyone was like, "What?" I I know those, Adam. <laughs> Dude, it was because because our friends asked, our friend not, Sean Malto, we were Arigato? backstage and he was like, "What are those sh shoes?" It was a star-studded event. It was a star-studded event. And uh, he goes, "What are those shoes?" And I said, "They're Arigato." And he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Arigato." <laughs> so I just yes, kept sir. repeating it because I I don't know, that's just the name of them. Wait, Axel Arigato. <laughs> Axel Arigato. A R I G A. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it arigato like in Japanese? Doesn't that mean like um, you're welcome? Does it mean you're welcome? What does it mean? You're does it so mean? Stupid! Dude, I don't know. I assume it was <laughs> Axel's last name. It goes by Axel Arigato. I think it, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I, I'm familiar with them. They make some cool stuff. They're like high end sneakers. It's the Mr. Roboto. Are you talking about the Mr. Roboto song? Yeah, but I got them off Instagram. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, I'll see shit. So is that your favorite thing? What's the best thing? Fuck it. I'll buy it. Uh, no, the best things are like the things I've got. Hang an egg. Fuck it. <laughs> For pain relief, like uh, th this thing th for my Whoa, bag. Oh, dude, you're wearing wear. a championship belt right now. What is that? Yeah, always, Damn. dude. It heats your back, and mm -hmm. then it also vibra bri vibrates, dude. It's fucking vibro. <laughs> it's unreal. That looks good. Just loose, loosen me up. That's that. I'm actually a little bit jealous of that. I think I could use one of those little vibro pads. A little. I also. It's by uh, Hyper Ice. I got oh, one. Man. I got this for my back. Oh yeah, Hyper Ice does the. They do the Theraguns, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm all over those things. They do the Theraguns, and they also do the norm. The no, Theragun does the Theraguns. Hyper but they Ice are. does Theragun. Yeah, but they they have their Hyper Ice know, has their own gun, and then they have. Uh, I'm just saying, Tyr doesn't do speedos. Okay, they do swimming briefs. Then they have okay. Normatech. <laughs> Wait, what do you call them then? If it's not called a Theragun, what is it? I don't know what it's called. A massage like a, gun. Theragun is a brand name. It's, massage gun. I know, but what do, what what would you call that? A massage like, gun. A massage gun. Yeah. They call it. Uh, is it a body jackhammer? A masturbator. Propulsive <laughs> therapy or whatever, something like that. Or um, a propulsive therapy. Okay. Yeah, I called a massage gun. It's a dick puncher. It's a little dick puncher. It's yeah, it's a dick puncher and yeah. not pro not propulsive. Dude, I love my fucking dick puncher. Like yeah. I love it. <laughs> Pul pulver. Dude, I I have five of those, and then they're the fucking shit, dude. I love them. You got to get the Norma Tech sleeves, not. where you put your sleeves, your legs in the sleeves. I got the I, I got the ones for the calves, <laughs> and uh, and then it, it. Wait, why do you have five Theraguns? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Just I have them all over. I have one. I have one in each car. I have oh. one in my backpack, and then I have one at each house. Have you ever double gunned yourself? 
Have you ever put your dick in between two of them? And I have. Smasher? Uh, no, I've never done that. Become the smasher? Dude, I would do that. Huh? I never did the smasher. No, you already said I have. You already said I have. <laughs> but, uh, but one I just Wait, got. You have one in each car, one in each cow, in cow house, and then just one in a, in a bag that... <laughs> In my backpack. That, can't go, that, that cannot go into the car. <laughs> yeah, Durs, we should go into this. This is some excess <laughs> shit. Well, no, because I, I'll take that. I'll fly with that. Don't you bring that backpack into the car. Dude, if I could. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll travel. I just like I just like to buy shit, Durs. Or into the house. The backpack is just for, it's outside. I know that, but I'm just letting you know. It's a little excessive. It seems like you need one in a backpack. This bro has five Theraguns. Well, I was given a couple of them, and then I was like, I wonder, I wonder if there's a, a you know. You just said I like to buy some... shit, and now you're talking about how you get it for free. I don't know what the truth is. Well, I got a couple of them, and then I was like, well, what else do they have out there? What I'm saying is I'm drinking Ashland, and I'm excited. Hey, <laughs> all right, you're still on the Ashland train. I love it, baby. But, dude, what the new one, if you guys would shut the fuck up, and let me talk about the new Hyper Ice. It's dude, we're it. just being buddies. <laughs> Knee sleeve brace, dude. Go ahead, bitch. Okay, okay. All right, go yep. ahead. Go All off, right. King. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk about my knee brace, dude? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, shut I, up, I just bitch. got it. It's unreal. It's mackerel. It cools. It does uh, both. It it cools and then it also mm -hmm. heats. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. It's on. Is this the one that has all like the circle things on it? Uh-huh. Yeah, dude. Just got that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They can send me one okay. of those. I have two knees. Yeah. Hot, hot, please. Hot, hot, hot. Please send me another. I would love I'd love to have one at each house. Two knees, yeah. Dude. Um, I need all that shit. <laughs> we're all dying and we're trying so hard to stay alive with all these what? gadgets and, and gizmos. My shit is crumbling. My body's crumbling. I fell in the competition. My body I weary. fell in the kitchen on the court when me and Blake were playing pickleball. And it was like, oh, God, I didn't know if you wanted to even bring that up. What happened? I don't care. Let's talk about it. we're what talking happened? about how our bodies fail. Like I was we were playing. We were playing <laughs> pickleball and I fucking uh, my legs just went out. I went for a slam and my legs fucking dusted. They betrayed me, I'm dude. Gonna send it. Will you be a little more descriptive of like the motion? Were you like trying I to was, go lateral? Were you diving for something? Did you were you just standing there? I was running for forward i took well i was mm -hmm. i moved i took i guess i took three steps forward mm -hmm. and then okay it's a paul abdul song was hitting the ball out of the air as hard as i could to put mm -hmm. it away to get the fucking point mm -hmm. and i did so, it overhead smash yeah so overhead overhead smash mm -hmm. and i did it and then my fucking legs just buckled and i fell right into the fucking kitchen Diarrhea. so that's that's why you asked that question to Durs earlier. You mm -hmm. were like, and did, did your legs go time. out? Did your legs yeah, go out? And Durs yeah. was like, no, of course they didn't go out. <laughs> no, and you were no. fishing. You were fishing a little bit. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm I'm slightly nervous about what this is and what happened here. You know, like, well, I think you just don't work out all that often, Kyle. I think if you did more of a strength training regimen, I think you would be in. in uh, Plyometrics. How yeah. are you warming up? Mm. Uh, you know, I'm doing some stretching. I'm doing a little, yeah, I smoke yeah. a lot of weed. With weed? He smokes Kyle, weed. Kyle, get a fucking jump rope. Get one jump rope. That's all you need. Oh, I can't jump rope. But don't you think, Good I think day. the strength training is necessary if I'm going to be like trying to operate like that. Don't you think? An athlete? Yeah, I think I think you got to <laughs> do some strength training. Yes. And I would start with a jump rope. <laughs> well, Kyle, li literally. Oh, yeah. OK. Great. Before you fucking throw a bar on your back and then your fucking spine just goes out your asshole. Kyle, are we allowed to talk about you literally have an offer from a pickleball brand to go pro, right? To, yeah, to, to be sponsored. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. Okay, so we talked about this. Oh, so is Kyle, Blake, so is Kyle that good or he just talks about it enough that someone's like, well, we might sell some rackets? <laughs> no, it's Kyle's very, Blake. Kyle's very good. Kyle okay. is That's very Blake. good. Okay, you, but all. How'd you do in the tournament this last past weekend? Uh, uh, well, you know, one well, win and a couple and a couple <laughs> losses, dude. I <laughs> well, there were a few delays. There were a few delays, and we were a little rattled. Okay. So, so hear me out. So, but tournaments are. Uh, I'm learning that tournaments are a totally different animal. Like they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. It's playing like, wreck uh, friends from yeah. high school. You know what I mean? Then even playing like 
Yes, than playing with your friend Thomas Kellogg. <laughs> Even like playing <laughs> with, with people who are good, it's like it's a different level because everybody summons everything that they have. Why else would you be there? Yes, for sure. Uh, I'm Dude. just trying to gauge how good you Goodbye. are. If someone wants you to go pro and you've never won a tournament and right. you've never won like, why no. is that? Why? Yeah, it's probably because of his yeah his celebrity for sure. Yes. It's because this dude's got hundreds of thousands of followers. Mm -hmm. Or or maybe they see promise. I see promise in Kyle if he would start maybe doing some jump roping on the weekend or, you know, stop eating all the chips. <laughs> Get him on the tee. Get him on the tee. Or, yeah, because I'm definitely not doing the athlete part of this. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing yeah. that. Because I believe he's got. I bet. I, I believe he's got that natural ability. He's got that long you know, check trash. arms, you know. He's yeah. naturally athletic. Yeah. He's got a gift. Yeah. He's got yeah. A gift. Yeah. His body is made for it. I think he's afraid of his potential. Is that possible? Maybe. I was, well, actually, Anders, I'm thinking after this tournament, I was like, well, I don't think I'm ever going to really participate at the entry level anymore. That's mm, what I was pizza, participating pizza. at because. Wait, you're just going to go straight pro? What do you mean? Well, there's different like rating systems. And I think where you play is where your mind is supposed is you know there's certain strategic levels of the game and stuff and mm. i feel like i want to be at the 40 level and that's where i'm at yeah. but i've been competing at the 30 mm. level every mm. time with partners who have been in the game for less time than i mm. so right. i think that now i want to find a partner that kind of can maybe push me to that next level so blake you just got kicked to the curb man thrown under the bus yeah you just got would would it be insane if i said to play singles Singles no, is hard. I've, I've tried singles. I've done a, I've done that in a tournament, and I really actually liked it. It was fun because it was simple. Is singles hard because you do have to move? It's way more, yes. way yeah. more intense. And doubles, you just rush the net and stand there and have to react and yell at me and yell at me and, and make me cry. Right? It's strictly <laughs> pickleball at a doubles in a doubles way. Is strictly serving, rushing the net as soon as you are allowed to, mm -hmm. and then just going. G -g 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 yeah, pretty much. Right. And uh, controlling that, dinking, controlling yeah. that. Yeah, then yeah. There's, this, there's the small game, the dink of that as well. And then the, yeah. yeah. It's just volleying, though. The, d the dink of it, for sure. Dude, as a guy who's never played, I'm the one yeah. person out of the four of us that has never played. I'm so lost right now. Yeah, um, I know. And you, you got to get out there, man. Well, you know tennis, right? Uh, kind of. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. Um, he knows hacky sack, okay. my guy. Okay, yeah, dude, hacky sacking. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Come on, brother. You end up standing like fourteen feet away from each other and just whacking the ball at each other. You know, like as hard as you can, just trying to whammo and just w yeah, sure, yes. that makes sense. So where is uh, Kyle? Where is Blake's skill level? Because he just said you okay. yelled at him a lot. You made him Okey cry. Mm -hmm. What was what was that? No, what I thought Blake. No, well, first of all, let me say Blake and I came away. I think we came away stronger as a partnership because it was just we we went through mm. and we did it. We did it. Well, and it was a lot of sacrifice on my end. Um, yes, it, was it, was. A, it was a whole motherfucking day event. It lasted from. <laughs> yes, it was. Blake, Blake, were you playing in the tournament? Yeah, I was his partner. Oh, I didn't. I did. Adam, yeah. did you realize this? I didn't. Yeah. Realize. Yeah. We should have set the stage. We should have mm -hmm. set the stage a little more. We played in a. Blake was my partner. Blake was my partner. Yeah. In a tournament in San Clemente. And it was mm -hmm. the PPA event. Yeah, it was very delayed. We were there for how long? Twelve hours, dude. It was, it was it, rough. It it had yeah. And I had to and I had to get on a flight. At, I had to be in the Uber by five forty five a.m. the next day to go to Tribeca. So I was like, bro, <laughs> we need to wrap this shit up. So yeah. what time did you get home after playing pickleball all day and night, <laughs> dude? I think it was midnight. I think I got him. Because San, San Clemente is not close to where you live. No. Very far. Very far. It was a lot of sacri I, I. But you know what? I just wanted to be really. If this is California, <laughs> it's like. This is California. It's here. Tw yeah. Good, 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 Durs. Yes. Draw a map on your hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Durs has his and hand out right now. This, <laughs> it, this is LA. <laughs> yes. My yes. second South. hand. This is the valley. Yeah, uh huh. It's very south. It's more towards like San Diego than anything. It's like, yeah, yeah. below Dana Point, bro. Oh, below mm -hmm. Dana Point. Is it near Tarantula? 
Um, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I think it's uh. Yeah, I think it's on the beach. Sorry, Temecula. Temecula. The beach yeah. of Tarantula. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the yeah. beach. Yeah. So it was a lot of sacrifice for me, but I just really wanted to show up for my friend, and I just you know I and yeah. maybe. And what's the footwear for you, Blake? I know Kyle wears pickleball shoes, right? Yeah, I I was wearing Fila's. Yeah, Blake, are you wearing some Axel Arigatos or? <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I could have got Adam's link from Instagram and put those on. But I had, I just have some like Adidas, like joggers. Basically, I need, I need better shoes. Adidas joggers. You need lateral support and I lateral. Do. Uh, you're I gonna do. burn a hole right in the side, like. Uh, mm. Homeboy yeah. on uh, New Orleans, huh? And Blake, dude, and Blake can play pickleball. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Like, let's just let it be known. We have wow, some footage dude. of points. We have yeah. some... Blake's Blake's athletic. Thank you. We have some footage of some points during our silver match game, silver mm -hmm. medal match game, mm -hmm. um, and right. uh, his hands are lightning fast. Thank like, you. his reactions... I got a feeling Blake doesn't get tired. Blake is. Are you watching? Well, I thought Kyle that was that was out, but he knows the game better. Is that what's happening? Not no shots fired. No, it's all good. I didn't think he was getting. I didn't think he was getting. I didn't think he was getting tired until his legs completely buckled. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he got hurt, and I was like, "Oh no, dude! Yeah. He's only played like five points." Well, that seems like Kyle. Is he he goes and goes and goes, and no one knows he's in trouble until he reaches a breaking point, and then. You know what? I appreciate. I appreciate yeah. him pushing it like that. Yeah, yeah, it was cool, man. It was cool. Fucking push it until your body fails you. It was yeah. fun. Other than it being a 12 hour day and just hanging out with a bunch of pickleball dorks, it was really cool, dude. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Burn. Uh, dudes, I got so That's sick. Good. I was the sickest I've been uh, in like my adult life besides COVID, I think, this past, uh, right after the live show. Like it did yeah. the live show. Oh, I, you I hit up Kyle. I was like, Kyle, did I get you sick by open mouth kissing you uh, in the live show? Because yeah. which I missed that moment. Right. Yeah. It, it it couldn't have been the thousands of people that we shook hands with and took selfies with. After. I mean, yeah, for sure it was. But yeah. uh, the, I had to go. I was going to Sonoma. I know which one it was too. By the way, I was going. You know, I was going. Sick? I know which one. I could tell. I was like. I was going to Sonoma for this NASCAR event and with chloe and it was supposed to be like a romantic getaway for us and i was mm -hmm. so sick that the woman who was showing us our room we're staying at this nice resort and she's like uh mm -hmm. so how was the podcast last night uh, i'm a big fan you know oh, really oh you gotta google one of those places yeah <laughs> uh -huh. super super sweet super sweet uh woman <laughs> and she's showing us our room and uh Mr. Levine. I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and I walk in, I took uh -huh. off my clothes and just went to bed as she showed Chloe the rest of the room. And what? I like pulled the covers over my head, dude. And then I slept. I see you found the bed. Chloe's, <laughs> yes. And then You're Chloe was like, you want your complimentary <laughs> bottle of what? I guess you don't want turn down service. I <laughs> guess I'm gonna go to dinner by myself. And I just yeah. slept for like 18 hours. Wow, yes. dude. Woke up then and next day, stayed up for like six hours and then went back to bed and slept for another 13 hours. Okay, mm -hmm. who from TII Nation poisoned Adam? Cause that is some well, bullshit, man. Yeah, who poisoned me, dude? It might have been. Was. It might have been those buzz balls did me in. Maybe it was the assassin in the front row. Maybe he fucking <laughs> got to you, man. There's no way it was anything but could've, the buzz balls. Could have been. <laughs> no way, man. These got me going. By the way, this cran blasters flavor, my new favorite flavor. Oh, Ooh, so it's yeah. just okay then? No, it's yeah. <laughs> it's so just, it's just fuck fine. off, man. I like this stuff. <laughs> cran blasters is my new favorite, just okay drink. <laughs> mm, so it's does it taste like poison? Uh. Oh, wow. Well, dude, if we if we're gonna if the live show just became a a commercial for Buzzballs, we all got to get a check if if it's gonna be a goddamn Buzzball commercial, you know. Well, maybe they can sponsor the tour. Yeah, well, you need to cut us in, bro. Yeah, I I felt good for about a little bit, but you know, what is the luggage we're wheeling them out in? What are the seats we're on? Dude, there's a lot of opportunities. Can we get those big massage chairs for the next show? There's a lot of opportunities. If sponsors want to oh, holler God. at us, we will. Mm -hmm. We will. I, we will whore ourselves out. Forgot. Blake is all business. Shill some products. Yeah, we're we're out here, baby. I forgot Dude. about Blake's business acumen. Well, let's talk a little bit about the live show. What did you What did you guys think?
Yeah, you you kissed me, bro. You kissed me, dude. Yeah, I missed that because I was um backstage. backstage. Kermit yeah, was still like spoiler. <laughs> oh, right, Kermit was talking. <laughs> we had an, a crazy guest. Kermit the Frog announced, dude. What a fucking wild guest guest host, uh, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. And then evidently Adam. <laughs> he looks great. Kyle, he does. He looks amazing. Dude, and I will say, Kyle, that was not premeditated. I gave Durs a high five. I was just kind of thinking I'm going to high five uh -huh. my homies. And then uh -huh. I and then I just, was, was the moment struck and I just had to kiss uh -huh. those hairy lips. It just felt right. It just felt 69, right in the moment, huh? Dude. It just was there. Yeah, just felt yeah. real. And it's, dude. And that kiss, that kiss was huge. Yeah, well, I think it felt right for, I think it felt right for me too because yeah. you can see my hand be like still, and then I go in and I pull you in, you know. So there's a choice, there's a choice to pull you in. Yeah, and then oh you pulled it closer. Yeah, I have to rewatch this. Yeah, wait, did you? So Kyle's rewatched it a bunch. Well, I saw the I saw the clips, bro. They put some clips out on the gram, and I was like, "Wow, look at that!" Oh, I pulled them yeah. in, huh? Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I think. I mean, as, as as a foursome of friendship, we've we've kind of kissed each other here and there, but that was the biggest, most sensual kiss, <laughs> yeah. dude. That I was the first know. one on camera. Yeah, I do not know if I've ever kissed any of you guys. To be perfectly honest, <laughs> I like how he said we've kind of. <laughs> I've <laughs> sucked. I've sucked Durs's finger many times with our cool yeah. handshake that we do yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah you guys do like the, hot, the hot, pinky hot, thumb hot. pinky thumb grab and suck yeah. is that what it is yeah. Yeah. Right. something like that Blake uh, and I yeah. kissed in an episode yeah. we're like we're biking we go like our faces kissed by accident oh yeah me and Durs pecked each other yeah and that was that one was actually really weird cause of, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah did that that didn't make it in the episode, right? It did it not? I think that hit the cutting room floor. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, Durs kept writing in uh, him and Blake kissing in episodes, <laughs> and then for whatever reason, it doesn't make the show because it doesn't make <laughs> any sense. Let's not but... get into Blake pushing for the triple kiss in the movie. He's like, there should be a triple kiss runner. I mean, <laughs> <He> Blake <laughs> always <laughs> wants it. Blake, it's a... that's hella funny. That's hella funny, dude. Always an advocate for yeah. the triple kiss. That's Blake Henderson. Yeah, yeah. I know Blake. Blake, all he really wanted the triple kiss in the movie. And... Can we? Okay, can we talk about triple? Ki have we ever talked about triple kissing? It was really big in the two thousands, and was it? But do you know where it's from? Colorado, whammo. Wait, what? I thought you. <laughs> it's from MTV. <laughs> it's like from MTV, one of those True Life Spring Break, like or Real World. Yeah, but like, D dude, they need to play those. And they were like, True Life. I triple kiss. What does that even mean? No, it was. No, it's just like that was always an end game when you're at like spring break was yeah. to like triple kiss each other, not just dude friend. <laughs> it was like what? Yeah, wait, what? I thought this. Ha I thought this was a joke. This is something that was like a no triple kissing was insane. Yeah, no, it was a girl on MTV. And by the way, I wonder if the girl came up with it or a producer was like... With your two dude homies. Is that what you're saying, <laughs> no. Blake? Oh, it was like you're at spring break and then you triple kiss like two girls. Or maybe it's... <laughs> yeah, but why do you keep pitching that it's just me and Durs? You keep <laughs> well, saying it over and over. My character was obsessed with triple yeah. kissing and it doesn't matter who it is. It just, it's more about it being three people kissing at once. Happening, right. It's checking a box. Uh, sure. Yes, yes. Yeah. Your boobs For are sure. huge. Do whatever sure. you need to to have the triple kiss. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> Hey, okay. and that's one of the many classic <laughs> bits you'll never see because we're not doing the Workaholics movie. And that's why. <laughs> that's life. Um, but <laughs> and that's why Paramount Plus pulled the plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want them. Can they not play Ridiculousness anymore and just play though that era of the like MTV reality, like real life Spring Break? Those were fucking crazy time capsules of an era. There's 
tons of vintage gold that Viacom is sitting on, whether it be Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, or MTV. There are shows that they have just been lost to history that are so, probably so fucking interesting to watch Dude, now. Yeah, Isaac and I were just talking about how Comedy Central truly is like a nothing thing. And how crazy that is that yeah. just in the last, like, five years. <laughs> <laughs> right. And the fact that we got the tattoos, <laughs> the fact that we got the Comedy Central tattoos, like, mm -hmm. uh, people mm -hmm. are like, what is that? I know. We got to get those <laughs> with the old tower on it, the globe with the tower on it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, our bad. Actually, that would be sick. It's because it's truly nuts. It's it's like it was fully it a thing, and then we were the sort of last gasp of air. Because now, if you have a show, even if it's the funniest show in the world, no yeah. one will see it. No, I don't know no. that there is. Well, are they playing? Are they be there? What what? Because there's nope. nothing on Comedy Central now, right? There's there's no. No, it has that show that uh, that I think they ended up selling to like HBO Max because uh, the other two. It, was that a Comedy Central? It was a Comedy Central show, and then they... Oh, that show's very funny. It, but then it became a hit on HBO. Yeah, but yeah. they oh. let it go because I'm I think they must now. have known, like, no one will ever see their show if it's on Comedy Central. I think they let it go because they thought it was a good business move. Yeah. And they're bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that show is very funny. And the first season it's is good. Yeah, hilarious. Great. Yep. Viacom is hysterically bad at that uh much like our movie <laughs> mm. paramount plus no but think about think about all the people who had a show on when we did yeah and how dude everyone was just kind of like slowly backing away because they were like this is a train to nowhere isn't it crazy uh, dude there was a photo i don't know what event it was where we have that photo and it's like kind of like the the lineup for you know the season the year season of comedy central and it's like uh, oh it was the it was the what were those things called the tcas or something like that or pally fest Pally-Fest. yeah right right i think it was called uh pally fest or something pally fest yeah and it's like us it's key and peel <sighs> it's broad city it's nick kroll it's just like crazy the people up there i'm like if you like if we contractually got locked down well, what they what Comedy Central used to do and what they what they were so great at is they would take like kind of the next up people and then put them on blast and then yeah. they can't afford them. So they always go Let somewhere go. else after that. Yeah. But that's but, the dirty mm -hmm. secret is they can afford them because mm -hmm. they yeah. pay out the butthole for um, the Daily Show. Yeah. And they were going to pay out Let the butthole go. for uh, they got all these buttholes full of money for <laughs> Chappelle. Yeah. Um, right. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 You know, and yeah, like, yeah but they, way, I think, like, as a company, uh, as like a, just a whole, their motto was, We don't pay for things as out of their butthole again, a butthole, yes, yeah. They're the Oakland, they're the Oakland A's of comedy, so I right. get it. Yeah. But isn't that, isn't that crazy? And then you see, a, you see a network like AMC or FX where they just were like this low key thing who slowly built and built and built. And now they're like these places you go to watch TV, or at least mm -hmm. they were before everyone bailed and said, we got to start a streamer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But I think they're yeah, still right. holding true. Like, I mean, FX is still holding fine being there with Hulu and stuff. They're still. Yeah. But they're like FX on Hulu now. Hollywood. Where's our Hollywood button, Blake? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah. I just want to listen to this it's song. It's very much no. like FX on Hulu. I don't know how many people are watching like straight to FX on Wednesday night or Thursday night or whatever. I wish I was, by the way. I was talking to Emma the other night. I'm like on the couch. I'm like, I just feel like the specialness of watching anything is over. There's no like, hey, we got to get home and tune on. Like Appointment tune in. television? Hey, I, like, oh yeah. Like, like yeah. you know, music just isn't special anymore. You just are, you have all the songs at your disposal, and it's kind of less. You don't buy anything. You're not like. Well, there's no, there's no real event. There's no real event. There's, and if that's what you mean by special, where it's like, yeah, there's no process, yeah. ritual, specialness, effort. Like it's so easy, and it's at your fingertips, and you can do anything. That you're almost like, 
I don't want to do anything. I know. I know. It's <laughs> like it's fuck! like uh, in a, in an embarrassment of riches. Like we have too Dude. much shit. We're surrounded by all this shit that we're like we can do anything we want. <laughs> There's so many shows that I really really like that I just bailed on cu- because like Atlanta. I didn't see the last two seasons. I like Dave. I haven't watched that. Succession. I just haven't watched. Like fucking. Me too. Dude, those are the perfect I gotta watch the Dave. I gotta watch. I saw that clip. Dude, those are the perfect examples because I yeah. every episode of Atlanta, I'm like, oh, I really enjoy this. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it then rocks. I just didn't watch the last two seasons. And same with Dave. Yeah. I like really enjoyed the I think the first season I saw. And yeah. then I just am not on I just have not seen the the next two. Like Fuck shows it. that Im- like impress me where I go, Fuck, they're doing it. This is so good, finally. And then I, I, I just go on Criterion and watch like old fucking Warren Beatty movies. <laughs> well, that's on you, bro. That's on you. Mm, well, you might be the yeah, you might be the only one doing that. Oh, no, but. Warren Beatty rocks. If you're sitting down at your TV, you gotta. It's up to you. <laughs> what are you Fuck watching? It. Like, what are you watching? Like, they're good. I'm watching old Jack, old Jack Nicholson. Oh my, you gotta watch. Um, Bull, uh, what's the one bull? What's the worm? Reds. I'm watching Reds right now, which is Warren Beatty. But uh, I don't even know, bro. That's a what's the I one where he plays the president? Bull, uh, bull. It's not bull. Bullworth. Bullworth. No, no, no. I'm talking no. about like Bullworth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about 70s, 80s, not 90s. No, that's Dave. Isn't it Dave? Ghetto superstar. Oh, I thought you because I'm thinking about the movies he directed. Are. Yeah, because yeah, he directed. Kyle, that's them. what I'm watching. I'm watching Bullworth. What's up with Warren Beatty? <laughs> well, he directed it. He directed it. I know, yeah. and he was in it. But like, I, yeah, I never really got down with Warren Beatty. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Warren Beatty never spoke to me really. Yeah, I was never a, a Beatty. You never saw Shampoo then. <laughs> I, no, no, I didn't. I never saw shampoo no. either. Go watch shampoo. Go get the fuck out of here. Go watch shampoo. <laughs> I was never a, a Beatty head, but he was he was a mega star. So people <laughs> watch shampoo, bitch. Spell shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Yeah, you got shampoo. I believe yeah, you got shampoo's shampoo. easy to fucking spell. Um, you gotta watch shampoo. Shampoo is epic. Shampoo is like a hilarious movie about a yeah, hairdresser. But that's, but that's a play first, right? In Beverly Hills, who's that's like, you just can't stop fucking wives of the people who like, of the women who's like doing the hair. And it just gets him like down this deeper and deeper rabbit hole. And it's like, it's, it's hilarious. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. It's like a dark comedy. But they remade it, right? And then like, and then, but oh, then cool. like John Travolta, like, in the new no, one, no, you're like thinking about a hairspray, woman? bro. You're thinking oh, about hairspray. hairspray. Oh, no, shampoo <laughs> is just like hairspray this... versus shampoo. What's a better movie? Shampoo, stop. Okay, I think it's gonna be shampoo. <laughs> hey, TI Nation, go into Durs's DMs and tell me if you like shampoo so or stupid. hairspray better. Okay, <laughs> they're bu- they're all gonna be like, what are these movies? Blake yeah, is talking. What about? are these movies? <laughs> Um, Live. We don't know. We've never seen them. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Well, I just uh, um. I was in. I just did the NASCAR event in Sonoma with Clo, all sick mm-hmm. and shit. But uh, mm-hmm. I rallied for the NASCAR event, and I'm supposed to say, uh, "Drivers, start your engines." And uh, I saw that. Yeah. They're like, yeah. they're like, yeah. So, uh, are you excited to say those special words? And I, ca- I was like doing a live interview for NASCAR, like on Fox, and I, and I go, oh yeah, I'm gonna see those th- say those three magical words. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. them now, but I'm definitely saying those three <laughs> magical words. And they're like, all right, right, yeah, it looks like he's gonna have some fun. And then they call cut, and they're like, you know, it's four words, yeah. right? Drivers, your <laughs> engine. Right. But I will say, like, you're. <laughs> Start your start their and start your engines is three and yeah, uh, dude. I know, but I'm like, of course, of wow, course, I'm fucking dude. it up just already, just with my foggy, yeah. uh, sick brain. Yeah. But uh, dude, people were so fired up because I was like, they were like, how dare he make a mockery of of him You're saying on a drivers roll lately, yeah. uh, dude. I really uh, am. I'm putting my foot in my mouth. Prickly, uh, tight one butthole. But. Uh, uh, but then most people were like, oh, that was fun. But uh, there definitely was some NASCAR diehards that were like, fuck this guy. <laughs>
Wait, they felt like you you made a mockery of it? Because you said Anjong. Anjong. <laughs> I thought your shit was sick. I got Thanks. fired up for that. I did too. I thought you brought that little hey, funk to the hey function. Hey, guys, that's what I thought too. And, you know, uh, uh, Alan Covert, who works with uh, Happy Madison, who was uh, mm -hmm. grandma's, it, with grandma's boy in Grandma's Boy, mm -hmm. uh, he told me, he's like, have fun with it. Watch the old uh, Adam Sandler when Sandler would do it. Oh, so you just did Sandler. <laughs> no. He said in Jones that you just did Sandler. <laughs> no. I didn't. You did it. You hit in Jones. Right, right, right. There's no way you didn't do Sandler. In Jones. <laughs> <That's laughs> no, I didn't. They would go, they would they would do like a whole like a start your engines. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, he was doing his like old Sandler thing. He's just like, just have fun with it. Like be be <laughs> yeah, funky. But, right. But if you had to describe two different Sandler things. The first one is the this one, and then the other one is the this one, right? Yeah, you did Water Boy. You did Water Boy. No, dude. If anything, I was doing like Chris Farley. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm right, I'm right there with you, Durs. I'm right there with you, Durs. <laughs> Wait, did you do Farley or Sand Come on. Well, maybe. I wasn't doing Sandler. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I thought you did Adam Devine. I was, do I was doing my own thing. But if we're saying if you're like in the past. It sounds like a little water boy. It sounds like a little. It sounds like a little bayou. No, but water boy. Water boy. Is, yeah. What is he? B Boucher? It's bayou. Yeah. Bobby Boucher. Bobby Not Boucher. Yet. Wait, so yeah. they thought you were mocking it? They thought you were mocking it? Yeah, so people people were like yeah. uh, a little fired up that uh, that I was <laughs> mocking the... They're like, what have happened to the classic driver, gentlemen. Star gentlemen, start your engines? And I'm like, well, but, but guys, don't invite me to Bruce do it Buffer. then. Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> don't invite me to do it then. Say it. I'm going to give it some funk. Exactly, yeah. I'm with you. Do you? They brought you to do your thing. Yeah. They didn't bring you to do whatever the fuck else they're doing. <laughs> who? Yeah, yeah. Who is the person who's like, gentlemen, start yeah, your like, engine? Who's the Who's the guy? They all are like Shatner. Shatner. I'm sure. I'm sure people. They have people to do that, and that's great. I just. I. I'm not going to be that guy, pal. Actually, Shatner <laughs> probably did his own thing. <laughs> yeah, Shatner did his own thing for sure. G gentlemen, start your. We can go viral. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> he phrased it like a question. Yeah. Start your engines. <laughs> start your engines. Um, but it was it was super fun doing and and those NASCAR events. Uh, are always so fun, dude. Like when oh, we've yeah. done uh, the one out in Fontana before, but the one in Sonoma is I had even more fun because it's a it's a uh, what do they call it a road course. So it's not a just like circle it's on the streets. No, it's like but it's it there's like no. turn, there's it. like turns in it. <laughs> okay, so it's a shape. No. It's a shape as opposed to just yeah. a oval. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, that's kind of cool. That's yeah, the best. That's the it best. Was, it was way cool. I yeah, I didn't even know NASCAR hat. did that. So And these are like stock cars? Yes. He's the base. Yep, stock cars, NASCAR. And what and uh, yeah, what is, is that everyone even? is all the are all the cars like who's making Who these cars? Like underneath the like advertisement shells. That's the entire sport. I think probably Porsche engines. Yeah, there's got to be. Dude, I I don't they they have like Chevy makes engines, but uh I know that they can only go to like a certain horsepower. And then there's other I, little tweaks that you I, can do, right. but everybody has to have the same amount. As much right. as the driving is super important, I think the sport really lies in who makes like the engines in the cars. Like that is the actual like the 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 No, well, the driving is also it. pretty damn important too, but yeah, I think the driving's important. You just turn left. Also, your squad, who's around you, taking care of the fucking, yeah, <laughs> taking care um, of the fucking cars. Yeah, but this is the road course, so it's, it's like science. I just explained, it's not all lefts. They're people, they're taking rights. There's, yeah. yeah. Well, that is pretty cool. Now yeah. that... Is no, the driving is. Oh, now Blake's in. There's so there's rights. I okay. forgot this guy's a. He leans right. Is what. Uh, no driving, Blake. Don't get it twisted. You would not be able to drive. That's that's hard. No, I saw Blake wow, drive man. in the de demolition derby. The guy was scared shitless, man. I, I we during. Yeah, there's no way. That's, that's way different. That's people running into you and hitting you and killing you. I. People were literally telling us to just to put Blake on blast doing uh, demolition derby. I did for Adam Devine's um, 
uh, oh, yeah, my bad ideas. Tell, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's science. Where we were doing a demolition derby, and mm-hmm. and and, dry, and we have cameras all around. Mm-hmm. Blake was going, "No, oh my God, get me out of here!" He was, dude. Mm-hmm. Ask Isaac. Okay. He was being a real bitch about it. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that. No, but. Hey, my brother, my brother who directed that said it was kind of a scary environment because you guys yeah, were trying. Sure. Yeah, you guys were getting hunted. Well, for sure. No, it, there was a reason to be scared, but I'm saying like <laughs> <laughs> the regulars were coming after you. There were backwoods hillbillies coming up to me and telling me I'm going to make a point to fucking hurt you out there. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like yeah. that one bit. And I don't even I didn't even know how to do stick shifts. So I what, know that's crazy. I like the pain. If I had any sort of comfort behind the wheel of that car, but I literally don't even know how to drive. So when they were saying <laughs> that, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to kill me. Because mm-hmm. I don't even know what I'm hey. doing. Can I just go on record with Kyle saying that, yeah, Blake, I also don't think you'd be able to hang in a stock car race. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, cool. in, a pro- hey. in a professional yeah. stock car race. <laughs> yes. So, no, yeah. Any take backs think. or... All right, I'll fucking take that. Whatever. <laughs> giveaways or... You just admitted you don't know how to drive a car. So, yeah, I would say... <laughs> I would say you probably wouldn't do great in the stock car race. All right. Shout out to freaking Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr., freaking Kyle Petty. I got nothing but respect for you guys, man. I like what you do out there. Dude, they they asked they asked me to to guess who's gonna win, and I don't know shit about stock car racing, but I was like, mm-hmm. I guessed uh, Kyle Busch just because I'm like okay. eight, my lucky number. Got, him, got in second yeah. place, pretty dang good. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, isn't not he bad. like? Isn't he like the guy? Uh, well, they're all there's like five of them that are all oh, okay. kind of vying for yeah. who's the best. One of the guy yeah. being the guy. Mm, uh, well, I get I guess one of my super special shout outs is to everybody who came to the live show in California, the Irvine Improv, TII Nation. Yes, and go ahead and read that list. Go ahead and read that list. I know, but somebody gave me this uh, naked grandma jacket. Oh, sick! Right here, very cool. Whoa! Cool. Very cool. It actually smells pretty good. Oh, it's the guy who says it? It's the guy who says it. It's the guy who said it. It's the guy who said naked grandma on. (laughs) Right, sure. (laughs) And I also would like to uh, shout out for all the people that watched it on uh, Mm -hmm. Mm moment.com. That was really cool how many people showed up uh, and were watching from home. So thank you. And we Mm -hmm. are looking for notes on production. Mm -hmm. If there's anything you need to hear. Or any or, or things that you missed visually, like I I don't know who's hearing the soundboard or how well they're hearing the soundboard because when yeah, we watch the clips back that you we posted, you can't really hear the soundboard that well. Mm. Yeah, we got to get that dialed in. You know, this yeah. is the first one, and we're gonna get better and better uh, the more we do it. So hopefully, we yeah. get out there. But you know, that's all up to Isaac, and we know not to trust him. So you know, <laughs> you know what else was super sick? Seeing Anna and Todd live in person. It that's was right. Very cool. These are, those are special our producers. Uh, extraordinaire. Very special and big big shout out to them. It was really awesome yeah. kicking it, mm-hmm. and we like big shout out to them. Yes, thank thank you for making that happen. Yeah, major whoop out. Yep, whoop out, whoop out. We like smoked weed on stage after the show was over. It was fucking mm-hmm. cool, dude. It was great, dude. It was that was a big time whoop out. Big whoop out. And I gotta, I finally gotta kiss my homie Kyle. So uh, <laughs> that was a big whoop out. That was a yeah. monster. Yeah. And I, I now have mono. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Outlaws comes out July seventh, guys, and you guys are all coming to the premiere. So thank you so much. I. I'm in. Dude, for sure. Appreciate it. Um, it's crushing. the uh, the The trailer is uh, destroying. It got something like forty five million views in in two days. That's off the heezy. Which uh, Happy Madison was really pumped about. So Fuck yeah. dope. Yeah. So please uh, tune in. It's on Netflix, yeah. baby. July seventh. Right. The album. I'm, I'm gonna give a recommendation. Everyone out there who's listening to me talk about old movies, go ahead and watch mm. Carnal Knowledge. Oh my god. <laughs> no one starring make- Jack oh, Nicholson and Art, Art Garfunkel of Garfunkel. Oh, wow, that sounds uh, like Simon that. and Garfunkel. All right. <laughs> hey guys. It's a good one. And that's it's another episode <laughs> of <laughs> Carnal <laughs> Knowledge. Is important. Is important.